When I'm doing my evaluation of horses, the first thing I want to do is establish the horse's sound. Many times farriers shoe horses tied up and never take the time to establish the horse's sound before they start shoeing. I don't mind evaluating on concrete, but I prefer to have the opportunity to do my evaluation on the type of surface that the horse is going to be working on. Evaluating on concrete is very artificial. When we move on to the arena, we can get quite a different effect from the shoeing. So my preference is, if I have a choice, is to do my evaluation on the type of surface the horse will be training on. Establishing that the horse isn't laying, watching the hind legs while the horse is moving away from us, we can see a little bit of a rotation in the hocks. This may make us want to think about um, shoeing with a bit of lateral support. Looking for medial lateral balance, I'll pick up the limb, I'll hold the front limb with the outside hand, I'll put the fetlock, below the elbow, and I'll look down the leg and look to see if the foot is perpendicular with the long line. One of the things that will go wrong is if you pull the horse's head to one side. If you pull the horse's head to the right, you'll see that the inside heel will look high. And if we come back, we'll pull the horse's head back to the right and we'll start to see that the outside heel will look high. Just from pulling the horse's head, we'll get a different view of the bottom of the limb. What I'll do is once I've picked them up, lined them up, I'll look over my shoulder to see that the horse is stood straight, and then I'll look down the leg again, and I'm looking for my medial lateral balance to see that it's perpendicular to the limb. My second view of medial lateral balance is as I look at the horse's foot from the front. I draw a line down the center, and I go equal distance each side of center, and I'm looking for the same length each side of center. So I want the same length of hoof each side of the center line. And if one side is longer, I'll trim more off that side. Okay, we are looking at a horse that is overgrown, past due for shoeing. It's already lost one shoe. We can see that the left foot is at a lower angle than the right foot. I think that's part of this horse's confirmation that he's naturally a little bit higher on the right foot than he is on the left. We're going to try to improve the balance on the left foot, try to make it more upright, take away the excess hoof. We can see if we draw a line to the center of articulation of the coffin joint, there'd be more foot in front of the center articulation than there is support behind. So we need to try and improve that. Center of articulation is just behind the coronary groove. Put your finger down the, the front of the pass and you can feel your the point of your finger drop into a little hollow. Vertical to that is the center of articulation. When I'm having the opportunity to shoe sport horses, I like to see them train. I like to see them ridden. That gives me an idea of how they're performing and that helps me to decide what type of shoes or shoe modifications that I need to put onto them.